EA Sports. It's in the game. What dreams is made of right here, baby. EA Sports. It's in the game. Matt, NFL 2005. Well, when you see what this guy can do in the defensive line, you know that statement is true. He demands so much attention, it allows the other guys in the defense to make play. And that's one of the things that makes him so great. Jamal Lewis should see a lot of action to help give his offense a more balanced attack. The only way they're going to be successful against that defense is to keep them honest with a running game. It's definitely going to be a game of X's and O's and who has the better game plan. Now this is what you call excitement. Look at those guys down there. They can't even stand still. Both teams have taken the field and we're ready for tonight's kickoff. The Ravens are set to kick it deep. It's on its way. From the 16-yard line, the 30, stiff arm there. The Browns will start the drive from the 37-yard line. So they have first and 10 here. Pass play here on first down with the pass. It's complete. The 50. Reed makes the play at the 38-yard line. That'll move the chains, John. Yeah, when you put together a great pass with a heck of a catch, that's exactly what you're going to get. First and 10. They come out of the nickel. Pull back handoff. The defender brings him down at the 29-yard line. He is a big offensive force. You know, this guy's a load to bring down. Defenses have a tough time wrapping up those big old tree trunks he has for legs. They have to get to the 28 to convert for the first down. The quarterback gets set with only one back behind him. He surveys the field, throws it, almost picked off. Almost a big turnover. That one looked like it slipped out of his hand a little bit while he was winding up to throw it. What a run, many of them a first down. Most of the time when you see runs like that, there's some kind of mix-up in the defense. Sometimes it's the offensive line just doing a great job of blocking. I think that play was a little bit of both. The quarterback lines up with two backs behind him. Dropping back the pass on first down. Firing the ball into the end zone. Almost goes out. So the pass falls is complete on the end zone. And this is the sixth play of this drive. Hand off to the 
tailback. Baxter makes the tackle at the six-yard line. Picked up nine on the play. Third down, and they have to get it to the four-yard line for the first. Garcia with a man in motion. Going to the right. Drop in the backfield for a short loss. Suggs wasn't able to get anything going on that play. They got there and shut that play down very quickly. That's just a case of studying game film this week paying off. When you know what they like to run in certain situations, you can anticipate the play call and stop the play before it even gets started. Dawson comes in to attempt a field goal, which would give them their first score of the day. The kick is up. Boy, he really got into that one, easily clearing the crossbar. The Browns are ready to kick this one off. Good distance. From the 13. The offense is heading out onto the field for their first drive of the game. The Ravens come into today's game with one of the most potent offenses in the NFL, John. And clearly they have a chance to blow this one open. The defense has its work cut out for it. But they have to play aggressively and keep pressure on the quarterback if they want to come away with a win in this one. Johnson in motion. Crosses it out to the right. McCutcheon makes the tackle at the 28. One yard gain on that play. Nine yards to go. Only one man in the backfield. With the pass behind him, and he has it. Davis records the tackle at the 42. Nice read, finding the receiver who is in single coverage. First and 10. The backs are lined up in an eye. Again with the carry. Dives and brings him down at the 46-yard line. Gain of five on the play. They need six. Over the run once again. The defender brings him down at the 50. He was fortunate to get anything on that play. And that's a tribute to their strength and conditioning coach. These guys spend almost as much time in the weight room as they do on the field. And you see it pay off when a guy can turn a play that looks like a sure loss into a play for a couple of yards. it off. Lewis didn't get any help from his offensive line. It was just about impossible to run when you have guys in the backfield just as soon as you snap the ball. Fodden sets up to run back the punt. Here's the punt. This one goes out of bounds. First and ten. Come on now. And goes to the tailback. Drop behind the line for a loss of a couple. The offensive line looked like they just collapsed on that play. The offensive line has to get good movement on the snap of the ball for the inside run to work, and it didn't happen on that play. It's second down and a long way to go. 
They line up in the I formation. Closing in, throws it. Baxter with the stop at the 30. Sugg makes the catch for a pickup of five on second down. It's third down and they have a long way to go. Baltimore comes out in their nickel package. Sugg, play action. With the throw, he hits his receiver. Davis doesn't get enough to convert, and that brings up fourth down. Good defensive stand there. Now they'll punt it away after a three and out. Here's the punt. from the 31-yard line. So they have first and 10 here. Pass play here on first down. Pressure coming. Rowling dropped in the backfield for a short loss. He caught the pass but didn't go anywhere. Nope. They were on him like glue. So at the end of one, the score is 3-0. Teams have switched sides, and we'll start the second quarter. It's second down and a long way to go. Only one man back. Heat in motion. Thompson records the tackle at the 35. There's a flag on the play. The team has to show discipline and execute properly out there. If they don't, they'll find it's much harder to overcome the other team and get a win. Cleveland comes out in their nickel package. Throws it. No one there that time. Now it's third down after the incompletion. Cleveland comes out in a dime package. With the pass, he hits his receiver. Henry makes the tackle at the 40-yard line. So three and out, and they'll line up to punt. Here's the kick. He signals for a fair catch. So they have first and ten here. The Ravens come out in a nickel package. Passing on first down. Under pressure, he showed great speed in getting to the quarterback there. Weaver busts through and takes him down behind the line of scrimmage. He's got a good mix of moves when he rushes. He can beat you with a swim, the club, or the arm over. Second and 15. Garcia scans the defense from the gun. Rolling right, throws it. What a catch. Can't bring him down. The 30, the 20, and he showboats his way toward the end zone. Quincy Morgan is in there for the touchdown.
They'll line up for the extra point. And it's on its way. And he kicked it on the extra point. Didn't take him long, but they moved down the field quickly, John. Taking less than a minute off the game clock. That's what happens when you have an offense that's completely in sync. You can get in a rhythm like that. You can put a lot of points on the board in a hurry. The Browns are lined up for the kickoff. Decent kick. We should have a return. From the 14-yard line. The Ravens will start this drive from the 28. It's first and ten. They'll go from the I formation. Passing on first down. Gets the pass off. Right to him. Davis makes the tackle at the 34. Bowler completes that for about a six-yard gain. Ball on their own 34. The backs are lined up in an eye. Diving tackle at the 41-yard line. Here's what happened. You get a guy who can move around back there. The defense gets busy covering everyone, and they forget about the quarterback. And he gets past that marker and picks up a first down. here on first down with the throw and this pass is complete sheds the tackle the 40 the 30 the 20 the 10 Travis Taylor is in there for the score he gets a great block right here he springs him for the touchdown I'll tell you he takes a defender right out of the shoes that time The kick is up, and he picks on the extra point. The Ravens are just three points down now. The Ravens are set to kick it deep. Should be a return here. From the 15. Can't bring him down. Couldn't stop them from getting into the end zone the last time. Out. It's first and ten. Baltimore comes out in their nickel package. Suck. Bullwick with the tackle at the 29. So let's take a look at how this back compares to the opposition. About eight yards. The Ravens come out in a nickel package. With the pass, the defender's got it. Looking for leverage. They sent the corner on a blitz, and it created a turnover. There are good times to send your corner, and there are bad times to send your corner. That is a good time. So after the interception now, it's first and ten. They line up in the I formation. Lewis, Davis brings him down at the 39-yard line. 
That run won't move them far. The lineman just failed to open up any holes to run through or give them room to work with. They have to reach the 30 to convert. Only one man in the backfield. Leave it off. Drop behind the line. Oh, loss of the cover. Although it's couldn't pick up any blocking on that play. The defense is always very aggressive when defending the run. They're extremely disciplined. And they get off their blocks very quickly. Makes it tough to find openings when you're running the ball. The quarterback gets set with only one back behind him. Gets the pass off. This one falls incomplete. He should have caught that one. And there's not one wide receiver who can ever claim he's never dropped a pass. It's just part of the game. So the lineup to punt after going three and out. Here's the punt. And he chooses not to return this one. Hey, this is why you run those two-minute drills in practice for a situation like this. The only difference is this isn't the scout team defense. Out of the gun. Going to the air on first down. Throws it. This pass is incomplete. Garcia found the single coverage he wanted. He just couldn't get it in there. I'm sure they'll be going to the air as long as they have the ball. Baltimore comes out in their nickel package. Pump fake. Pressure. Good play in the backfield by Weaver. Weaver did a great job breaking through, getting there for the center. Yeah, it's a great play because he had to slip the blocker, then use his speed to get back to it. And he just made it look simple. The defense can't get sloppy out there and miss tackles and let him get a first down. He might get the ball back and have a shot at some points before halftime. Sug in the backfield. He shakes the defender. Hartwell records the tackle at the 20. Sometimes you can be a little over-aggressive on defense like you see here. You had him lined up the over-pursuit. And he got caught out of position. And the ball carrier was able to cut back. So the punt team gets ready as we near halftime. Here's the kick. From the 47-yard line. He didn't have much to work with, but still got away a decent return. We're guessing they're going to just throw it and do their best to move into scoring range since they don't want to go into the half with the score the way it is. Looks like he's calling an audible. The defense lines up in the next pass play here on first down. The 40. Henry makes the tackle at the 32. Looks like they'll go with a hurry up here. Throwing on first down. Gets rid of it. He hits his receiver. Little stops him at the 11. Goes to the end zone. Picked off in the end zone. Good individual effort to make the interception. One thing they want to avoid is turning it over and setting up the other guys with a chance to get some points. A little over a minute left. Only one man in the backfield. Gets the pass off. Great pass. Fulwer makes the tackle at the 28. Not quite far enough to pick up the first down. Yeah, and the guy calling the plays loves this kind of situation. Because on second and short, everything in the playbook is an option. The defense can't afford to take too many gambles by going for a pick when they should just try and knock it down. One mistake can lead to a big play for the offense. 
second and two coming up here. The Ravens come out of the quarter defense with the pass. Carter records the tackle at the 39. Perfect pass, great catch, and that'll move the chains. Hey, I know they want to increase the lead before half. But they got to be careful and not let the other team back in it with a turnover. Ball on their own 39. Garcia scans the defense from the gun. Looking downfield, the defense has it. Shins the tackle. Forced that one just enough. The defense was there to pick it off. The defensive coordinator knows their tendency. He sent his guys out there looking for a pass. He put it up and boom. To get the interception. So after the interception, now it's first and ten. Only one man back, going to the air on first down. Griffith with the tackle at the 32-yard line. Looks like he's calling an audible. Closing in, throws it. It's complete. Little records the stop at the 24. He sees something in the defense. Pressure coming. Soft lob to the end zone. Touchdown, Ravens. Bowler puts the ball in the exact spot. So they're trying to tack on the extra point. And it's up. And he tacks on the extra point. Two consecutive touchdowns has put them in front. It looked like they might be having some trouble earlier. They really seem to have gotten it all together. And they're right back in this thing. The Ravens are ready to kick this one off. Squib kick short. From the 17, using the stiff arm. Defense intercepted a pass their last time out. One thing as a defender you want to avoid is trying to take a gamble for a turnover and then giving up a big play that lets them get points before the half. Time. Boom! Now that is big time football. Brought it down and ran with it, but couldn't find any room. That's excellent discipline by the defense. They stayed in their lanes and they got to him before he could even get going. Second and eight. Sugg, the lone back, drops back. Rowing. On the move. Baxter is the guy who's there to break him down. At the 47. Here's a no-hope. It's a good way to keep the defense off balance. He'll pass on first down. With the pass. This pass is incomplete. And this should be the last play of the half. Garcia starts out of the shotgun. Gets the pass off. Right to him. Good one here. The first half comes to a close. Score, Baltimore, 14, Cleveland, 10. So with halftime now over, let's take a look at how both teams perform in the first half.
The Browns are lined up for the kickoff. Sends it soon. From the 11-yard line. The Ravens will start the drive from the 26-yard line. It's first and ten. Lewis, the deep man, under pressure. Great play in the back. That'll give him his first sack tonight. Looking at second and long after the sack. Cleveland comes out in their nickel package. Throws it. Ooh, nearly picked off. He makes a great play by breaking the pass. That's the thing. That was a perfect opportunity to make a big play for his defense. He lets it go as an incomplete pass rather than an interception. With two extra defensive backs, the defense is in the dime. Gets the pass off. And with the tackle at the 27. Nothing happening on that drive, and they'll punt it away. Here's the punt. And he signals for the fair catch. First and ten. Nickelback in this time. Suck. John, one of your favorite terms right here. I'm going to use it. Boom. Yeah, but that's worse than a boom. That kind of hit could loosen your teeth. Not much on that play. Yeah, and that's what happens when you talk about a disciplined defense. They stay at home and wait for the runner to come to them. Suggs, the lone back. He'll get it again. He's brought down at the 40. Couldn't find much of a hole, and he's brought down after a gain of what looks like a couple. Yeah, you talk about push. This line got no push at all, and there was nowhere to go. <laughs> it's third down and six to go. The Ravens come out of a nickel pack. Lewis makes the tackle at the 42. Trying to move the ball on the ground. A running attack that is consistent and effective will help the offense dictate the pace of the game. Very solid defensive effort to force the three and out. Here's the kick. Fair catch. So they have first and ten here. They can't get it done on the ground on first down, John, but they're still leading in this one. Some teams manage to get by pretty well without a solid running game. And that's mostly because their passing game is very effective, especially their short passing game. It's second down and ten to go. The goal from the I formation. Lewis. Holman with the stop at the 29. Good gain for the offense here in the second half. This is one of those guys that seems to play better as the game goes on. The more he gets the ball, the better he does. So I'd expect to see him get quite a few touches here as the game winds down. The backs are lined up in an eye. Bowler sends a man in motion. 
looking upfield. Little records the tackle at the 36-yard line. Lewis did a nice job on that run. If the defense keeps giving up runs like that for first down, they'll have to make some adjustments to slow this guy down. First and 10. Despite very little success running on first down, they still lead. And running is important, but they've got other weapons that can get them in the end zone. Not a bad pass, John. The receiver just couldn't come up with it. I think he just took his eyes off that one. Fifth play of this drive. Lewis, the lone back. Jones moves in motion. Lewis. Thompson makes the tackle at the 37-yard line. Lewis couldn't even get out of the backfield. This defense is extremely active and effective up front. They do a good job of getting upfield quickly, creating havoc in the backfield. Misdirection plays and draws could be a good way to use their speed and aggressiveness against them. Dropping back, gets rid of it. This one falls incomplete. Not much touch on that pass. He may have tried to put a little too much oomph on that throw. Sastadil will come in now to punt it away. Here's the punt. He's waving for the fair catch. It's first and ten. Suggs, the lone back. Gets the pass off, and it's caught. Reed makes the tackle at the 45. Good read, finding the single coverage in the secondary. So they have first and 10 here. The quarterback gets set with only one back behind him. Going to the air on first down. With the pass, with the adjustment, he has it. They throw it and pick up a second consecutive first down. Well, when you start to establish something, you want to keep it going until the defense finds a way to stop you. It's first and ten. Baltimore comes out in their nickel package. Just got level. Yeah, you know that whole deal about what happens when an unstoppable force meets an immovable object? Well, the unstoppable force won that one. To convert for the first, they'll have to get the ball inside the 29 yard line. Suggs is the deep back. Another run. Vince is the guy who's there to bring him down at the 18. The Browns ran the ball successfully that time and have picked up another first down. That's three on the drive. Fifth play of this drive. They're in field goal range. Again, he'll get the call. Fumble. Loose ball. The Browns get it. John, they fumble it behind the line, but get to it before the defense does. Yeah, I'm not sure if the defense knew the ball was on the ground. In any case, the offense reacted just a second faster. So after the fumble, they'll go to work with good field position. We've completed three quarters of play, and the score is 14-10. The Browns down by a score, knocking at the doors. We get set for the fourth quarter. They'll need to get to the eight to convert. Suggs, the lone back. 
gets the call. He's brought down behind the line for a short leg. So couldn't find any room on that one. They really hustle on the defensive side of the ball. They're very good at clogging up the line, limiting the number of holes and cutback lanes that the back has to choose from. Seventh play of this drive. They're in the red zone. They line up in the I formation. Surveying the field. It's rid of it. He's inside the 10. Baxter makes the stop at the six-yard line. Now, this is one heck of a play. Look at it. They're in a hole here on third down, and they come through with this perfect play that gets them a first and keeps the drive going. Suggs. Lee Suggs is in there for the touchdown. Now, this is exactly how to get the ball in the end zone. Just get in behind the center and guard and keep pushing and pushing until they're putting up six points on the board. And it's on its way. The extra point attempt is good. The Browns find themselves up by a small margin. As we take a look at his success returning kicks, we get ready for the kickoff. The Browns are set to kick it deep. It's on its way. From the five-yard line. To the 20. Let's see if this possession is more effective after their last possession ended in the punt. So they have first and 10 here. The quarterback lines up with two backs behind him. On the call, great fade. Gets the pass off. This one falls incomplete. The little lob doesn't find its intended target. The backs are lined up in an eye. A little trickery here. Drop behind the line for a loss of a goal. That trick play doesn't work and they'll lose a little yardage. Ball on their own 27. Cleveland. Looks like they're playing the pass as they're lined up in the dime. Almost done. Davis had his hands on him. He's a pretty good cover linebacker. He can run with most guys and he gets good position. Then he reads the pass and he makes his move. But he'll drop a few like that one. The defense did a great job on that series, pushing them backward. Here's the kick. He signals for a fair catch. First and ten. Garcia with a man in motion. Throwing on first down. With the throw. Hartwell gets right in there and brings him down. Suggs did a nice job bringing that one in. Yep, the quarterback lobbed it in there and let his receiver do the hard work. It's second down and a long way to go. Only one man back to carry it. Hartwell records the stop at the 41. Pickup of about five. They need seven. Come on, 
come out of the nickel. Throwing. Drops the interception. It's almost a big turnover. The quarterback can get a little excited out there at times. Maybe that's what caused him to rush the throw a bit. The upcoming punt will mark his fourth so far. Here's the punt. Andy signals for the fair catch. So they have first and ten here. The quarterback gets set with only one back behind him. Off for the tailback. Davis with the stop at the 30. Six yard game. It's second down and four to go. Only one man back. Hands it off. Drop behind the line for a loss of a couple. Lost some valuable yardage on that run through the middle. He's got to look to make his move earlier. If he sees guys waiting there in the middle, he's got to look for the cutback lane. Or bounce it out, looking for a little more room to the outside. Third and seven. Cleveland comes out of their nickel pack. Diving, tackle to bring him down. They're trying to pick up the first down on the ground, but they're short. I have to question that call. They're losing the game, and they aren't in field goal range. But they still run the ball. Fun lines up deep for the punt return. Here's the kick. And he chooses not to return this one. 34 yard punt, fair at the 36 yard line. Two-minute warning coming up. Winslow comes in motion. Suck. And he's tackled at the 40-yard line. Gain of five on the play. Second and five coming up here. We've reached the two-minute mark. The backs are lined up in an eye. Douglas drags the ball carrier down behind the line. He starts out the wrong way and winds up losing yards. Yeah, they got good penetration on the line. Guys flying to the ball, getting to the ball carrier, making a heck of a defensive play. Third and nine. The defense lines up in the nickel. Lewis records the stop at the 42-yard line. The third down run, not enough to keep the drive alive, so the punting team coming in. There's nothing wrong with trying to grind it out in the fourth quarter when you're playing with a lead. I bet the defensive coordinator is telling his guys on the sidelines to get ready, because it'll be up to them to stop any comeback attempt and hold on for the win. Here's the punt. He drops the ball. The quarterback's going to be the guy making this thing happen. He should realize that there's still a lot of time left, knowing it's only a field goal they need. As long as he can move them down the field quickly and avoid third and longs, they'll have a chance to at least tie this thing. He, the motion man, drops back. Pressure, rowing. He was tipped. 
No choice here, John. They just have to keep throwing. Yeah, they do. Running the ball isn't going to do a whole lot of good now. One play down, three to go for this defense to stop this drive and get the win. Dropping back. Close again. Hits the pass off. And he dropped it. Time is working against them. Yeah, I'm thinking they're going to keep going to the air. But it might be a little too late. We're just about down to one minute. They've got receivers bunched together on both sides of the ball. To the 20. Henry makes the stop at the 29. Bowler with a man in motion. Drops back. He surveys the field. Rowing. And he just can't hang on. And they have to go to the air because they need big plays fast. That's right. you got to have composure in these situations. Find your receivers who can pick up yardage after the catch. But most importantly, you have to keep the chains moving. The defense can't relax here. All these guys need is a field goal. Once they pass midfield, the defense really has to tighten up. Dropping back. He just unloaded on it. Boom. Now that is what football's all about. They'll be looking to convert here on third down. One thing they can't afford to do here is take a sack. So they might want to keep it a back to block for maximum protection. The Browns come out in a nickel package. Pressure coming. There he goes. The 40. The hand stops him at the 46-yard line. Directing traffic. He'll stop the clock with a spike. Second down, and they have to get into field goal range to tie. If they can get close enough with time left, they might even be able to take a shot or two at the end zone and try and get the win. The backs are lined up in an eye. Throws it. And this pass is completed. He makes the catch. Goes for about three yards. That'll bring up third down. They're going to keep it moving here. They're heading straight to the line. Dropping back. Under pressure. He's rid of it. And he can't find a way to keep possession. Boulder was under intense pressure. Yeah, and that's something the defensive coordinator mentioned in practice this week. Making the quarterback throw the ball before he's ready to throw it. If the defense can hold on this fourth and long, they've got themselves a win. They'll probably go with a prevent defense here. So the offense might be looking to find a hole underneath to throw to. Throws it. And he hits his target. They go for it and don't make it. That was a conversion the offense needed. They have to be disappointed. And it's worse because now the other team has the ball. The only way the defense could get the ball back is if they had all their timeouts. The offense just has to kneel down a few times, and this one's over. No need for anything else but taking a knee here to finish this one out. He'll take a knee. The Ravens call a timeout. They have none left. This one's just about over. The defense doesn't have enough timeouts to get the ball back as long as the offense takes a few kneel down. Looks like they'll take a knee right here and save the victory. And there's the kneel down by the quarterback. Third and long. So they'll just wind the clock down and get out of here with a win. And the clock runs out. The final score is Cleveland 17, Baltimore 14. This is Al Michaels with John Madden saying goodbye for EA Sports.